This was built in the 8th century. That's like, how long ago? 1,200 years ago. Second day here in the UK and man, I'm loving it so far. Today is the very last day here in Bath. Because of the architecture and everything, it's amazing for photographers. There's this one church that I want to go to. It's called the Abbey. Architecturally, it's just unreal. I want to go there. I want to take photos there. We're actually not even here in Bath at the moment. We're at Stonehenge. Okay, now we're back in Bath. So I was talking to the guy that was driving us from Stonehenge to here. I was asking him about the Abbey, the church that I want to go to. And he said that apparently it closes around 5.30. Right now it is five o'clock and I still, I actually don't know where it is. Out of all of the places that I've been around here, apparently it's like the most standout-ish place and I still haven't been there before. We need to go down, we need to actually find it, which I'm sure we'll find it in time. We only have about, I actually want to take photos and stuff in there. So probably about 10 minutes. So why am I talking? <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if it's open. I don't think it's open. Ah, oh, this is so amazing though. But oh, but oh wait. It's open. <laughs> the attention to detail here is like, look at this. How crazy is that? This was built in the eighth century. So that's 800 AD. That's like, how long ago? 1,200 years ago. And they've still preserved the detail to this day. That is just, see, I love traveling because you get to see stuff like this and taking photos of it is even better. If you've watched heaps of my videos before, you'll know that whenever I have a situation like this where everything is really wide and I want to capture a lot of the scenery, I'll get down low like this and shoot upwards. <laughs> Well, I know what you're thinking right now. I'm in my Newport Beach house. I'm not even in London or the UK at all. The reason is because when I came back after doing that, I was so tired and I didn't end up filming the end of this video or the next video in the UK at all. So I'm filming the end of them here. So just letting you know. Anyway, the photos. Well, actually one photo. Again, only one photo. When we went to the Abbey, I was kind of planning on going around and just taking a few different angles. We ended up getting there at around 5... 20 or something. So we only had about 10 minutes. By the time I ended up snapping the photo, which ended up being really cool, like perspective wise, obviously like looking straight down the aisle, you've got the lines of up the top that like go to the edge of the frame and also the lines from the chairs coming towards the frame as well. It's a great composition and it's a great place to take photos. And the architecture is just crazy, like because of how old it is. It's something that you definitely have to be there to really experience. But I guess what I could say is, I just wish I was there for a longer amount of time Time because if I was there for a longer amount of time, I would have been able to spend more time taking other photos and that. But I actually ended up saying like, okay guys, it's time to leave. It's 5.30, we close now. And I ended up getting a good photo. So I'm happy about that. Fits in with the Instagram feed well. So it's all sweet. Question of the day. Hi Hayden, love your vids, keep it up. Thank you. I'm 13 years old and I just started to get into photography. I'm using my dad's camera. Exclamation mark. My dad's camera. I find it hard to take pictures because I don't really know what to take. I'm taking photos in my mom's garden for flowers and stuff, but it gets a bit boring just taking photos at the same. 
at the same place, I assume. You got any useful tips? Okay, starting out in photography, obviously you need to learn the basics. ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. I'm gonna do a video on this really soon, but I'm not gonna go into that today because you actually have to understand that. But once you understand the basics, really it's all just about going out and just taking photos of things, then practice makes perfect. So you just gotta go out, do your thing. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.